Hello, welcome once again. This is Joey from DeepScopeRecords.com. And uh, this session of our little... Oh, why is that like that? Oh, well, this session of our um, little short tutorials here. Remember, we also have a very in-depth uh, videos available. There's one available now. There are several more on the way. Those are in the works. So these are short little things to help get you going, help answer some of your questions. And if you have questions, you can email me, deepscope at deepscopebreakers.com. And, uh, but we also have longer, more in-depth uh, videos uh, at deepscopebreakers.com uh, to kind of help you along your way in, uh, in, your, in your music career and with, with your records and so forth. So today we're going to talk about um, uh, using buses, uh, sends and returns. Um, and the best way to explain this, you can see this is, this is where the sends are in Pro Tools, right here in the middle. Uh, and the best way to explain this is that a bus and a send and return is no different than recording, really, than plugging in an instrument. And the way you do that is uh, right here. These are all your sends and returns. And you come up here, and let's say... Let's say we're gonna we're gonna run a reverb here. Let's let's simplify this a little bit. And let's do this with the drums. So let's simplify this a little bit. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. There we go. Okay, and then we can also, let's, let's hide these as well. Okay, so now we're just left with the drums. We'll simplify this a bit. And we can expand this so that we can see what we're looking at. And these are my drum tracks. There's seven of them. We got kick, snare, time one, time two. I've got my hi-hat mono over, and I have those uh, going in into, uh, into a stereo track. And all of these drums have reverb on them, but I put that reverb in this one aux track right here. So now how do we use buses to send that over? Okay, well, the first thing I did was I created a stereo aux input, just like that. Now, that aux input Right now, there's no input. There's no information. There's nothing um, telling that. Let me let me set this up better here. There we go. We'll get into where the drums are. There's nothing telling this channel here what to do. So if I play this, you can see that there's nothing coming into it. There's nothing here. So let's say I wanted to send my drums into this reverb channel. Well, I need to tell these drums where to go. So we use a bus. And you Let me mute these. So you come into this return, let's say we come into the snare track, we click on this insert, and you don't use the interface, you use the buses. And I have one here that's neatly labeled drum effects. And I'm going into a stereo channel, so I'm going to use the stereo drum effects. And we're going to close this for now. We'll come back to it in a minute. So now I've taken that snare and I've taken an imaginary chord. I've plugged it into this drum effects bus, into the input. But now there's no output. 